will please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Anthony Daly, and the National Anthem, performed by Jose Garcia. Please remain standing, and gentlemen, please remove your hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can I just leave right here? <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that saw-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. Good evening. My name is Brian Cooksey, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Chairman of the Board of Directors for the Northwest Georgia College and Career Academy and Phoenix High School. And on behalf of our Board of Directors, our school administration, and our outstanding faculty and staff, I'd like to welcome you all to this evening's ceremony, and thank you for coming. We come together tonight to celebrate the graduation of the Phoenix High School class of 2022. A graduation celebrates academic achievement, individual growth, and the demonstrated mastery of a, collected, a collection of essential knowledge and skills. A graduation is also a celebration of everything it has taken for these young people to get to this point tonight. All the grit, perseverance, studying, teamwork, prayer, and commitment. And a graduation is also a celebration of all the people who have been part of the graduate's journey. Friends, family, teachers, supporters, mentors, and others. To graduate high school is a significant milestone in one's development and life. It's an investment in the future that can never be taken away. By graduating tonight, the future for these graduates is brighter, their potential to earn higher wages has increased, and their career options and choices are greater. To our graduates, whether you leave here tonight to enter the workforce, go to college, serve our country in the military, or pursue another path, I encourage each of you to continue learning, always give your best efforts at whatever you do, and seek out opportunities to help others along the way. Graduation from high school is not the end of your journey, but rather the beginning. As you continue your journey, believe that your best days are ahead of you because they are. You are here for a reason, and the most important thing you can do in life is to find, live, and share your purpose. The best is yet to come for each of you. I would like to take just a moment to thank several individuals and groups who have helped make tonight possible. First, I'd like to extend my thanks to Dr. Mike Ooten and the Whitfield County Board of Education for their support of both Phoenix High School and our College and Career Academy. I'd also like to thank our principal, Ms. Travisano, and our school administration 
for their leadership and vision to continue to enhance the Phoenix experience and support the teachers and students who attend Phoenix High School. And finally, I'd like to personally thank our outstanding faculty and staff at Phoenix. We are blessed to have a great team of professionals who care about their students, engage with them individually and collectively, and support the students through their journey. You all pour your heart and soul into the work that you do, and your efforts are creating a better future for these students and our entire community. Please join me in a round of applause to thank our faculty, staff, and administration for their hard work and dedication. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce two of our outstanding graduates tonight who are gonna share what Phoenix High School has meant to them. First to speak will be Lorena Casas, followed by Christian Mendez. Good evening. My name is Lorena Casas, and I'm honored to be speaking with you tonight. To my fellow peers, the change, it's coming. We are breaking out of the everyday routines that have been a part of our lives for the last 13 years. We are becoming functioning members of society. How do we cope with it? Can we escape it? Dr. Edwards wants us to embrace it. Dr. Edwards says, stand fearless and unafraid of change. Instead, embrace it because it is inevitable. And since it is essential to this journey of living, permit change to open opportunities, new prospects into experiences that will prepare you into a better individual motivating you to rise above the present practices and knowledge of your existence. But how do we embrace change? We embrace it by reminding ourselves that change is inevitable, easy, and normal. Change happens to everyone, so repeating this to yourself will make it more normal and a part of your daily routine. Name and acknowledge change that you are experiencing. This can be scary when change is happening in your life so being able to identify changing is the first step. Claim your control. You can start by making a list of things that you're in control of and a list of things that you're not in control of. Separate yourself from experiences. One bad experience does not define you and it never will. Always remember that. Maintain self-care. Self-care comes in different, different forms. <laughs> Focus on recovery. Change will bring some difficulties, some more than others. Acknowledge this as you get through that change. Ask for help. For some reason, most of us are afraid to ask for help because it makes us appear weak. However, asking for help and finding your support systems allows you to keep moving. Connect with a community. Find people who have gone through the same experiences. Learn from them and how they were, over, they were able to overcome the difficulties. Reflect on your journey. Slow down and take a moment to realize how far you've come. Do this regularly. Celebrate growth. Every challenge, celebrate. There was a time when I was not so sure I would be standing in this room right now. I struggled a lot with mental health issues along with bullying at my home school. My therapist and family decided, my therapist and family decided that I needed to be pulled out of school to better myself. Unfortunately, this came the consequence of failing my junior year. At the beginning of my senior year, I was pulled into a conference room where I was told I would not be graduating with my class. My homeschool had completely lost hope in me, and my mental health went spiraling downhill at the thought of not finishing high school on time. That was when I came in contact with Phoenix. Phoenix offered me a second chance at redeeming my junior year. I was able to finish both my junior and senior year. I am so incredibly thankful and for the wonderful people at Phoenix. I want to thank my teachers and friends who have encouraged me every step of the way. I have built a unique relationship with each and one of them. The last person I want to thank is my mom. Heather Nicole Furston. <laughs> Got it. She is the definition of a super mom. <laughs> mom, you have been such an amazing person. 
<laughs> and support system in my life. You have always put others' needs before your own, and you have encouraged me to be the best person I am. You're the strongest woman I know, and I am so happy I get to call you mom. You're the biggest blessing in my life, and I love you more than you can imagine. We did it, Mom. <laughs> we finally got me here. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Christian Mendez. I would like to start off by congratulating all of my fellow graduates. I'm glad to say that we've all made it. And before I start off, I got a couple words to say to three special people in my life who've helped me get here, and this is gonna be in Spanish for them. First, ama, ese es para ti. Ese estoy diciendo del corazón, y ese no está aquí en el papel. Te digo gracias por ayudándome y apoyándome en todos mis En todas las cosas que yo he hecho, me, me has apoyado y nunca me has perdido el fe en mí y siempre me has soportado en, cua, en cada cosa, en cada decisión y te doy mil, mil gracias por eso. Y otra persona como es una mamá a mí, Maribel, gracias por siendo otra mamá y ayudándome y apoyándome también como si fueras una mamá. Tú también me has soportado en cada cosa Cada cosa que yo ha hecho, tú me has soportado también. Y nunca has perdido en fe en mí tampoco, como mi mamá. Y también Mariela, tú también eres una grande parte de mi vida y me has ayudado en cada cosa. Y tú me ayudaste a llegar aquí y tú me diste esa fuerza a llegar aquí también. And now, we continue. I have to take a few steps back to the beginning of the school year to tell you about what Phoenix means to me. Unfortunately, I decided to leave school completely to go to work. I made that decision thinking I knew what I wanted to do. I felt like I was grown enough to go off on my own, but that was not the case. I worked for a few months and completing school never really came to my mind. I was earning my own money and enjoying my time working in construction, specifically concrete. Months went by and then it hit me that I was wasting my time and potential. It took some courage and ambition to come back I had to envision future opportunities for myself and reject all doubts. Upon stepping back into the classroom, I thank all my teachers and administration for not giving up on me and giving me a second chance. Phoenix means a lot to me because in the short amount of time I've been here, I've been embraced by a school that's full of opportunities. Every person is welcome and there is no judgment. The teachers and staff do everything they can to help students reach their goals. Phoenix sees the potential in students even when they can't see it within themselves. Phoenix means so much to me because of what it offers and what it represents. It honestly feels like a home. Thanks to this school, we've all made it here today graduating and starting new chapters in our lives. And I wish every single one of you the best of luck in your endeavors and remember to always chase your dreams and never give up. Thank you for listening, Phoenix High School, class of 22. Congratulations. And now Miss Emily Buffington. Good evening. My name is Emily Buffington and I'm the school counselor for Northwest Georgia College and Career Academy. At this time, we have some special recognitions. If you are a Phoenix High School senior who has enlisted in the military, please stand at this time. If you are a Phoenix High School senior who has completed a CTAE pathway, please stand at this time. And if you are a Phoenix High School senior who took advantage of our work-based learning program, please stand at this time.
Now welcome Miss Amy Fawcett who will present academic scholarships. Thank you, Emily. I am Amy Fawcett, one of the assistant principals at Phoenix High School. I have the honor and privilege of giving out four of our academic scholarships. These scholarships are for in the area of English, math, science, and social studies. These are four of our top students, and they are also students who have plans to go to college. When I call out your name, please uh, come to the podium. The first scholarship is for language arts, and it goes to Ashley Tenorio. The second scholarship, and these scholarships are in the amount of $250. Um, this scholarship is in the area of math, and it goes to Jai Matthew. The next scholarship is in the area of science, and it goes to Patrick Stanfield. And the scholarship for social studies goes to Lorena Casas. We have a few more awards and scholarships to give out. Mr. Bates is coming for the next um, round of scholarships. Good evening, I'm Patrick Bates. I'm the other assistant principal at Phoenix and I am presenting the Mark Sparzani Creativity Scholarship which, which is for students that has shown creativity in arts and different things and also the uh, Leonie Schindler Memorial Scholarship and this scholarship is uh, in remembrance of uh, a fine lady who had some uh, granddaughter and, and some other people at Phoenix High School so these are given out just to students that are just very well-rounded students. And this is for Ashley. We tricked you. Sorry. The other one, y'all. We tricked you. This is Selena Hammond. And she has won both of them. I need to uh, introduce Margaret, uh, Marie Goss, who's a WCA EOP scholarship. Good evening. It's an honor to be here. I am representing the Whitfield County Office Professionals uh, for Whitfield County Schools. This organization is made up of uh, secretaries and clerks throughout the system. Each year we do a, several community projects throughout the year and one of the projects that we do, we do a fundraiser to raise funds to uh, give a scholarship to each of the high schools. This year it is my honor to present a $1,000 scholarship to Bella Mendez.
good evening. Seniors, uh, you have been involved with school for well over 2,300 days of school. Did you know that? 2,300 days since you started kindergarten all the way till now. I want you to do something. I want you to turn to your neighbor right now and smile at him. Turn to your neighbor and smile. Now turn to your other neighbor and smile at him. This is a moment in time that I want you to take a picture of. A moment in time where, you, that where we are valuing your work, your commitment, your grit to see things through. That's an, those are important character traits for anyone. And I'm thankful for you and for your, your resilience to make that happen. Tonight I'm here on behalf of the Whitfield Education Foundation. Our organization has been established since 1990 and our primary goal is just to support the work of Whitfield County Schools. We do that in a variety of ways. We do it by supporting teachers with innovative teaching grants, as well as, as, well as recognizing student achievements like we're about to do right here. But I want, you to, I want to tell you I'm a retired teacher myself and I'm I'm so happy for you and proud of you. It's kind of interesting. I, sitting up here, I get to look at the parents' faces right here, and some of them, their, their grins have been touching their ear from the whole time they've been sitting in here. But they're very proud of you. We're going to recognize the top 10 students with the highest GPA at Phoenix High School. Now, when you come up, Ms. Trevisano is going to give you your, your award, and I want you to stand right over there because we're going to take one big group picture, okay? So let me get my list. Um, if you would come forward at this time, Destiny Asher. <laughs> Stephanie Gutierrez. Riley Hames. <laughs> Hannah Lindsay. <clears throat> Michaela Mays. <clears throat> Bella Mendez. Giovanni Ortiz Nolasco. <laughs> Iris Ariola Reyes. <laughs> Nicole Stewart. <laughs> and Ashley Tenorio. Can you get us? Oh, there's one more coming. Got one more coming. I almost did it too quick. Sorry. So, Ms. Trevisano, if you would stand on that end and frame us in. Okay. Okay, everybody look straight ahead and smile. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations to you all. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Valerie Brown and I'm honored to be here tonight representing the Georgia Northwestern Technical College and the GNTC Foundation uh, to present the Foundation's High School Graduate Scholarship. The Foundation was established in 1988 to support the mission of the college and to encourage private contributions toward achieving that goal. The Foundation is giving back to our local communities by awarding a scholarship to an outstanding student from each of the high schools and college and career academies in our nine county service area. 
I'm proud to announce this year's scholarship winner from Phoenix High School is Victor Turin. It's my turn. Good evening, I'm Sherry Travisano. I'm the principal of Phoenix High School, and I'm so honored to be here tonight. And we're so glad to have you here with us this evening to celebrate our graduates. Wow, guys, you made it. Congratulations to our award and scholarship winners. Wow, we kept hearing those names. Some of you looked shocked. You really did great things. I'm excited to announce that we have 105 students that met the graduation requirements to graduate with Phoenix High School. We, our staff served many other students that graduated with their home high schools either earlier or last weekend or will be tomorrow. So I'm honored to be with you one more time as your principal. Some of you I've been with since you were in pre-K. We're kind of old. We've been together a long time, some of us. Um, you made it. You survived your last year of high school, and so did we, barely. I wanted to share with you some of my beliefs. I believe, and some of you have heard me say these to you, I believe that you can accomplish anything if you're willing to work for it. I believe that if you think you can or can't do something, your actions will prove you right. I believe that your words are very powerful things. Words can be healing or destructive. They can be encouraging or discouraging. Be so careful in choosing the words you speak over others, and especially those words you speak over yourself. I believe your words can be traced back to your beliefs and what's in your heart. Some of you, and we heard our speakers, believe this day would never happen. It took the rest of us, speaking encouraging words, pushing, calling, praying, texting, begging, emailing, house visits, and believing until it did. Some of you believe so hard that you could finish this year that you proved us wrong, and I'm so glad. I've talked to some of you this past week, and your parents. Some of the questions have been, is he really done? Do I need to come back? Is there anything else I need to do? I'm gonna come up to the school and make sure I'm done. Is she really finished? And I was able to answer all those questions with a yes, they're really done. Now, I believe you didn't make it to this point without assistance. Now, we're gonna take a minute and thank these folks that are here that have supported you along the way. If you are a family member, friend, or supporter of a graduate, would you please stand at this time? Students, join me in thanking these folks that have supported you along the way. You may be seated. If the, PH, uh, the Phoenix High School teachers and staff please stand and be recognized. Great job, guys. Stay standing. I'd like to especially recognize our Teacher of the Year, Dr. Deidre Edwards. And Dr. Edwards may be leaving us uh, for, uh, to, to work closer to home, but please join me in congratulating Dr. Edwards on her award. And also join me in congratulating our Paraprofessional of the Year, Ms. Brenda Hernandez Trevino. Congratulations, Ms. Brenda. You may be seated. And I also want to do a special thank you to our board of directors and our chair, Mr. Brian Cooksey, for their continued support and making sure we have whatever it is we need. It's great to have those industry partners and those partners that are 
have those resources to get us what we need. We also have some special guests that came up from Atlanta today. I want to say a welcome to our Department of Education folks. We have Dr. Samuel Taylor and Dr. Deborah White who are here to support you as well. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you for joining us. And again, a, a very special thank you to our Deputy Superintendent, Ms. Carrie Williams, and our Superintendent, Dr. Mike Uten, and the Whitfield County Board of Education, and Mr. Worley is here to uh, represent them tonight, and all the staff for making sure we have everything we need in the education of your students. I'm almost done. I have a few more beliefs to share. I believe if you show up every day on time, ready to try and work, great things will happen. I truly believe you will get as far as you are willing to work for. Enjoy this moment. Take in that applause. Get up tomorrow, ready to show up on time and work hard for whatever's next. This is my favorite part. Dr. Uden, Mr. Worley, the students seated before you have met all of the local and state requirements necessary to receive their high school diplomas. I'm honored to present to you the Phoenix High School cl graduating class of 2022. Ms. Travisano, on behalf of the Whitfield County Board of Education, I am pleased to accept the Phoenix High School Class of 2022 as graduates of Whitfield County Schools. Anthony Giovanni Aguilar. <laughs> Stephanie Alvarez. <laughs> Daisy Lynn Arnold. <laughs> Iris Heidi Ariola Reyes. Naomi Yamile Ariola Reyes. Destiny Brooke Asher. Andrew Gage Bain. Brendan Jake Burnaby. Alexis Cora Bishop. Layla Scott Brackett. Hayden Zane Bryant. Ureli Guadalupe Canales Freire. Genesis Arodi Carranza. Lorena Nicole Casas. Natalia Chavez Reynoso. Kara Elizabeth Cochran. Angel Brienne Coker. <laughs> K. 
Caleb Andrew Cronin. Jason Steven Cruz Gonzalez. Anthony James Daly. Oscar Javier De La Cruz. Josue De Leon. Courtney Lachey Deal. Shayla Cheyenne Duckett. Danielle Cassette Dyer. Erica Montserrat Fabiola Hernandez. Yasmin Fabella Rodriguez. Ryder James Farmer. Don Amber Nicole Freeman. Jose Patricio Garcia, Jr. Jaden Alexander Gargiulo. Kyle Matthew Griffin. <laughs> Stephanie Italy Gutierrez. Camilo Alberto Guzman. Isis Guzman. Riley McKenzie Hames. Quincy Lewis Haynes. Alexander Warren Heck. Haley Brooke Holsenbach. Haley Danielle Huffman. Stanless Herbie Lane Husser, Jr. Adrian Rodolfo Ixkiak. Brody Shane Jackson. Tierra Chantel Jeffries. Amanda Nicole Jones. Jada Sharice Kinsey. Isabella Giselle Ledizma. Hope Marlene Lewis. Hannah Renee Lindsay. Michaela Cheyenne Locke. Fatima Paola Lopez Terran. Jeremiah Johnny Lusant. Joe Angel Lua Valdez. Donnie Lee Martinez, Jr. 
Maddie Lee Masters. Jai Timmy Matthew. Michaela Lachey Mays. Andrew Charles Mueller. Bella Angelina Mendez. Christian Alexander Mendez. Eduardo Manuel Miranda. Omar Antonio Morales Rose. Trevor Joseph Morgan. Eric Mungia. Matthew Thomas Odom. George Rios Ortiz. Giovanni Ortiz Nolasco. Litsi Nazalani Pianado. Renaldo Perez Jr. Matthew Eli Petty. Kirsten Leanne Marie Rains. Diego Rios. Luis Angel Rivera. Trenton Lee Robertson. Miguel Angel Rodriguez. Donya Janelle Romo Gonzalez. Destiny Cheyenne Rutledge. Jordan Isaac Saldana Pettit. Jessica Lisbeth Salmoron. Cassidy Marie Samia. Casey Marie Smith. Aureli Arisbeth Sosa. Patrick Allen Stanfield. Julie Elizabeth Marie Stanley. Nicole Leanne Fagans Stewart. Grace Elizabeth Caitlin Tant. Victor Manuel Tarrin. Savannah Lynn Thorne. Diana Jasmine Torres. Manuel Omar Torres. Stephanie Valdez.
William Noah Wright. Caitlin Nicole Jonas. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 class of Phoenix High School, congratulations. We got this. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Stephanie Gutierrez. On this very special day for everyone, I would like to motivate you to continue with your pursuits and dreams. I know from my own experience that sometimes it is very difficult to continue when you have things that are pressing you and will not let you continue. But that is not a reason to give up. Keep going, no matter how hard it is, keep going. Just as I continue, despite the fact that I am still learning English, despite the fact that I still don't know how to con communicate correctly, I continue because I had a goal to be here. We all have dreams, and, uh, and just like me, I know that you want to forfeit yours. Give up the effort. Two months ago, I, did, I didn't think I would graduate, but right now I have completed one of my goals and I am graduating with you. So if can I do it? 
why not you? Don't give up on chasing your dreams for success. <laughs> Fellow graduates, can you please stand? Thank you. Are you ready, guys? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. We did it, class of 2022. This, this concludes our graduation ceremony for the Phoenix High School graduating class of 2022. Thank you for coming. Have a safe travels home.